airport. Navigating a busy airport is even more difficult when weather is not favorable. Taxiing at night or during adverse weather conditions such as rain, snow or fog can make even simple taxi operations a challenge. Proper use of exterior aircraft lights make an aircraft more conspicuous and signal location and intent to other pilots. Various configurations can tell other pilots whether the aircraft is on a taxiway or on a runway. When on a runway, they can signal whether an aircraft is holding for takeoff clearance, crossing an active runway, or accelerating down the runway for takeoff. The configurations for exterior lights include engine running, taxiing, crossing a runway, entering a departure runway for takeoff, and takeoff. Let's look at these configurations in detail. Whenever the engines are running, it is important that the rotating beacon is illuminated. This beacon should be illuminated before engines are started. Prior to taxiing, the navigation lights should be illuminated. Before any aircraft movement, the taxi lights should be added to this configuration. When crossing any runway, all exterior lights should be illuminated. This includes the rotating beacon, navigation, strobe, taxi, and landing lights. When entering a departure runway, the rotating beacon, navigation, taxi, and strobe lights must be illuminated. Once a flight crew receives clearance for takeoff, the landing lights should be added to this configuration. During night operations, when taxiing into position on a runway, pilots should consider lining up about one meter off the center line to make it easier for other pilots to distinguish the aircraft lights from the in-pavement runway lights. Following these simple lighting procedures makes each aircraft more conspicuous and pilots will have an easier time maintaining their situational awareness on the ground. This